Good afternoon, it's Serena, and I got Becky, one of my closest friends. It's a beautiful day in Kansas City, Missouri, like for real. It actually is, finally. So we were just hanging out, and then we just figured, let's talk about, because Becky has seen some really amazing bands, and so I wanted you to share some of those stories and such. Oh, yeah. Um, well, growing up, my dad has been in a band my whole entire life. Mm -hmm. um, my dad's actually, like, third generation. Like, So my grandmother was a majorette at Tennessee State um, and a drum major. Um, and was a drummer and then my dad my little sister my son and one of my nephews so my whole life that's all i've been around is people in band going to see my dad play and yeah he's um, a drummer yeah, yeah. i didn't so have to see him yet really Ever. all these years you've never seen him that's crazy yeah. because his band one moment usually... it's the possessed possessed webcam strikes again <laughs> right? oh, i had no idea either i was just like what yeah I'm sorry about that. Go nope. ahead. So about but, that I hadn't seen him yeah, play crazy. ever. Yeah, crazy. Because my dad's been playing my entire life. My dad's probably been playing 50, 40, 50 years. Like, yeah, his whole life. But I grew up around music. And so uh, it's shifted the genre, really. Like, it's crazy how when you get older, your tastes kind of um, mingle and, and mold. Um, but yeah, I, we started... Um, with hair bands. Oh. Is when I, yeah. So actually my first concert is actually a crazy story. It was Pam Tillis in okay. Little Texas at Worlds of Fun. And Kansas really? City. Yeah. Over by, you know, remember where um, the train depot is at Worlds of Fun? Do you remember that far back? Yeah. Yeah. But they yeah. had, they used to have um, the pavilion yes. that was there. They had concerts there when we were little. You know, we we're talking, this was probably 90. Really? Yeah. See, I don't remember there being any, like, major bands when I went to Worlds of Fun. Yeah. And that... Well, Worlds of Fun, by the way. They, they weren't really a major band. I mean, they were becoming a major band. Little Texas was, and Pam Tillis was. I mean, but I don't remember them being... I don't remember in my world. My dad, big, um, my dad got to see Journey for my dad got to see Grad Day or some Grad Night. My dad got to see Shooting Star. I don't know yeah. who that you is. You don't know who Shooting Star is? No. Oh, you have to listen. To, like that's some eighty stuff for you. Um, but the yeah, one of the big ones was Uproar. Okay. And that that I'd gone to, and that was Avenged Sevenfold was the um, headliner for that one. That's what we wanted to yeah. talk about. <laughs> that's where this. This that's like the, started the, the whole conversation. Right. The ADHD yeah, as I talk in circles and finally come back around to my sub, my point. But yeah, no, it was um, uh, Three Days Grace was there. Yeah, that's uh, my bloody Valentine was there. Like it was amazing. Um, have you seen Breaking Benjamin? Because that's my favorite. I have not. Next to Bring Me the Horizon, those are yeah, two of my really... favorite, more current. Right. I you know I wish. I don't listen but really. But Three Days Grace. Like, I loved. So Kansas City Encore Three Days Grace had up for. And I they were know. not even the headliners. Uh, Event Sevenfold was a he was a headliner. And yeah, they brought, and they did Riot. They weren't supposed to. Yeah, that's it what was you told their, me. Yeah, it was in their contract that they were not supposed to do Riot. Not that Kansas City is known for, you know, getting up in an... But yeah, that, but to this day, Three Days Grace has not been back to Kansas City because they broke that contract. And that was... That's crazy. Oh, seven. Like, yeah, it's been some time. But, uh, yeah, it was a kick-ass concert. And, like, we had, like, we, if they're not back in the, uh, they're not booths, but they are, where we had actual, like, table service mm -hmm. come to us and everything. And um, we call it Rockstar Parking, which is parked right up front. I like it's, that. Yeah. I like that. It, I mean, I will forever call it Sandstone for me because I'm old school. But... Yeah, it's what really Sandstone. Sandstone, yeah. See, we understand. I got to Kansas see City, No yeah, Doubt. Yeah. Oh. Tom Petty. Oh, Sandstone. Wow. The Heartbreakers. Yeah. Of... I got to see Bon Jovi a long time ago, the early 90s. I think a lot of people went to that concert. I Well, I went to the big uh, George Strip concert at Arrowhead in the 90s. Oh, cool. And I was a senior or a, a junior in high school, I think, though. So yeah, we're talking like this is showing our age. Yeah, ninety eight. That that was my graduation. Was ninety eight. We graduated in two thousand. So. Yeah, yeah. But it was at I Arrowhead. graduated in ninety eight. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. at Arrowhead. I remember my mom. We were leaving 
she wanted to check the trunk for the cooler. Uh, and all my friends were over 21, so she, she rightfully so, and found alcohol. She made us leave the alcohol there. That and is funny. <laughs> <lame. laughs> Right? That's what the things my I mom mean, that would have made me feel like oh, a turd. I was and it's like, not um, your fault. Right. I was just like, <laughs> this sucks. And then the worst part is so then, you know, I didn't plan to drink anyway. But then we get there and a drunk guy behind me, you know, those long drinks that they have at yeah. the concerts. Yeah. He had Jack Daniels in one. And I was wearing a sundress and had dumped it all down the back of me. So I came home smelling like Jack Daniels because this idiot drunk behind me That's dumped stupid. it on me. And my mom did not believe me that those I had not been drinking it. I really hadn't. Yeah. It was up this expensive right. to be now, throwing that on somebody. <clears throat> and he was just drunk and fumbling around. And I mean all, I mean, it was everywhere. There was no getting away from it. I even left the concert early and came home because I was, you know, soft by this. And my mom didn't believe me that I had been drinking. And I really hadn't been drinking. But I had just gotten Jack Daniels dumped all down me. Not that I knew at 17, 16 years old what Jack Daniels was. I mean, You did it? No, I think it was beer and, and boons. Boons. <laughs> right? Shout out Somebody, to the boons. Right? Did Somebody, you like the strawberry? That was my favorite. Yes, Strawberry Hill. Yeah, yep. that was everything was like somebody, two dollars and fifty cents right. when I was in high school. Oh my god! So somebody brought up Mad Dog twenty twenty. Yes, that was. I was like, that great. smells like my childhood. Yeah, stay away from me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the things that we. I think used I to only do drank and that survive. once. I was fourteen. I think with a all of us only real one party. time. <laughs> yeah, taught to, is one time to drink that stuff and you don't ever want to drink it again. You're like, no, drink that, that was not crown that cool. with me. Crown Royal. Oh my gosh. I got Mine. so fucking disgustingly <laughs> sick. Mine is American Honey. I've never had oh. that. I don't know what that is. Oh Lord, it is wild turkey with honey. Oh, Ooh. I've had wild turkey. Right? I, is it the same? It's the oh, same thing? It's basically wild turkey with honey in it. And it, yeah. All I have to say is I woke up naked on a couch. Uh, <laughs> I have no recollection to this day. That was don't like, drink when you're underage. Well, people. this was like an adult. Oh, my God. <laughs> I still wanted to let it be known. Yeah. 21. I, yes. And, uh, oh, all, no. oh, no. I did most of my stupid things over 21. Really? Yeah. Not me. I was doing a lot of... I No. Probably when I got married, I pretty much like you married too young. Had yeah, true, way too young. true. So yeah, yeah. You were how old again? Oh, when that happened. When you got married? Oh, the first time I got married, I was barely eighteen. Hmm. Yeah, barely. Vince was nineteen. That's so it's I was, crazy. Because I turned eighteen June of two thousand, and I got married August of two thousand. So, yeah. I was a baby. Eh? Well, okay. And Aaron maybe. was already almost one, too. So I'd had, well, no, that's why. I had Aaron at 17. I'd had Aaron in April. So he was four months old. Yeah, Crazy. don't do it. Don't do it too early. <laughs> well, I think maybe we might think of doing some music. Not mm -hmm. right this second. We're going to go ahead and wrap this one and then we'll maybe get some music and okay. do a reaction. Okay. Just thought we would share, show a little bit of personalities. <laughs> Either you like it or you don't. I'm sorry. Right. Talk to y'all later. Mwah. Bye.